seen a lot of pictures online uh, of the devastation, and uh, I think I text messaged Tara and said, I want to be there. And um, we really didn't talk about it much, but uh, later that evening on Facebook, of all places, a gentleman from our town in White House said he was taking a group of people. Uh, so we just acted on that, and Tara called the guy. So uh, that was how we got prompted, really. When Ryan had told me that there was some people from our community leaving, I just knew that it was supposed to be, and I thought, I'm just going to call and see, you know, if how we're supposed to fit in. And he's like, well, you're going to go. You guys, definitely, I want you to come. And my heart, I just knew that God had called us to be there, and I was so excited. And I called Ryan, he's like, are you, that's that easy? And I'm like, mm-hmm, so far. And he's like, okay, we're going to do this. And I was there's so many logistics having children we have three children to go to th you know three different houses we weren't sure and God just worked all of that out um, within 24 hours and we're just so blessed that the way that it came it just we knew it was God and his plan we had four trailers full of supplies I mean diapers food formula water so much water we had 21 um, volunteers and and it was unreal how each, we just kind of went into small groups once we got there and went separate ways. Um, some formed groups that went out and just cleaned up debris and um, it was amazing. Yeah, we plan on going back uh, June 24th. Um, they're in need of a break. The volunteers at this church we made a connection with, so we're going to go and just volunteer at this church. and. Uh, help them, you know, register people, uh, answer the phones, just to give these volunteers a break. Cause they've been working, you know, for almost a month straight, 24 hours a day. Uh, so that's what we're planning to do. And also to uh, take some more food there with us.